Hello, this is Ishmael Zadim, and welcome to my Java tutorial. In this tutorial, I'll be talking about creating JSON through Java Bean classes. Um, the usual way of creating the JSON is okay, but it can be time consuming if your JSON is really massive and really nested with information. So, the best way is to use the Java Bean class, and yeah, I'm going to create one and let's go to it. Um, in this scenario, we'll be using a um, the username username login or something so that's the username and a java bean class has an empty constructor or constructor with with parameters and what else implements serializable and it has a get it inserted so that's a java bean class summarized for you <laughs> so let's go into it so private string we're gonna have a username and we're gonna have a password and we're going to have Let's say email. Okay. Um, and what we're going to do is we're going to select all and we're going to create a constructor. So generate a constructor using fields and create the last member. Boom. Okay, now we're going to create the uh, getters and setters. This is really important. Um, source generate getters and setters. Boom. Okay, so that's our Java Bean class, and what you do is go to this JSON main, and what, what I'm going to show you is that when you go object dot put, you can see that we can put a collection value. A collection value can be uh, a uh, an array list, linked list, hash map, all that, that all that stuff. So um, that's what we're going to create. So we'll create a new method. Static void, call it generate JSON. All right, and what we're going to be passing is the actual collection value. So we call this array list, and what we're going to put as generic type is user name. Okay, and this is going to be list of <laughs> user name. Okay, and yeah, and I'm just going to copy and paste this here. What am I doing? <laughs> I hit the wrong shortcut. All right. Um, so yeah, let's just remove this all. So yeah, what we want to do is we want to put in this here. So we go object put, and let's just say this is going to be usernames. Okay, and it's going to be list of username. Voila, that's it. Um, yeah, we have to put it through. Try and catch. Shift that up. And what we're going to do next is add add it to the JSON array. So put object. Okay, and lastly we're going to print it. So we go to the main method and we create the array list user name and we go list of user name Okay, so what we're gonna do next is just add the users. <laughs> So what we do next is just pass in the um, the array list to this method and we'll generate and let's just add this up. Okay. Um, just add three of them. Just like that and then we use this online tool to view the JSON. And yeah, and it works like a charm. And there is a problem with using this method is that let's say we put null here. Let's say you're fetching information from a database and that 
information doesn't exist, it returns null, and when you come in to pass it or generate the JSON, it's passed as null. So let's just um, do that real quick. As you can see, um, it doesn't exist, um, but the others it does. To solve this issue is that you go to your username, you can actually create a method for this to validate if it's null or not, but in this case I'm just going to make an if statement in the getters, if um, username equals null, then return empty string, else I actually had this problem in the university project. Um, I didn't know why it was not showing it in the JSON, but yeah, I figured out later that it was just null. <laughs> so, um, just print it now. Let's go here. Format. There it is. So this is th that's it, guys. Um, basically, you just. Um, Passing a collection, it can be an array list, link list, onto the JSON object, and it should work very fine for you. Um, if you're facing any problems, um, please uh, let me know in the comment section. I will be including the um, the JSON jar file if you if you don't have the JSON but you really want to get into it. Um, but yeah, so that's it, guys, and take care.